I want to tell you a few things about Sam Childers and we're done. Sam Childers was a heroin addict. Sam Childers was a drug dealer. Sam Childers was a criminal. There was a time in my life I could not read or write. I never went back to school. I walked into a church and said, here I am. And I gave my life to Jesus Christ. I have no education at all. I don't have a diploma in nothing, but I speak in universities around the world and I don't even have a high school diploma. That's God. See, I believe that God will put us all in front of a doorway. And I believe God will open that doorway and as we stand in that threshold of that doorway, the decision that we make is going to determine the destination of our life. James chapter 4, verse 17, one of my favorite scriptures, says if you know you should do something and not do it, you have sinned. God put me in the doorway where I could see where children was being persecuted, children was being killed, and I had the opportunity to do something about it. I've seen what he's seen and visited the same areas in Wau and Rumbek and Juba at gunpoint held by rebels looking for opportunity to kill me and I just prayed and I felt at that time that the Lord just was a shield around me just as Sam is experiencing that as God is for you nobody can be against you the Lord really just came in and gave me a freedom to express who I am in Christ and to really step out into the mandate that He's called us for, to go and make disciples. Sam really challenged me to stand up and do something. When you see something's wrong or there's a need for righteousness to make that step. We as Christians tend to sit back and wait, but Sam challenged us to really step out and do, do something, start to do something. By God's grace and His power, He will give us the victory that is needed. I'm definitely gonna step out and, you know, let God use me. To hear a guy speaking out of everything that he came from and the reality there is in this country, it was something to hear and really that brought me hope. God really does not care what your background is and who you are. Um, when He has a plan for your life, He intervenes and He really puts you on a course for greatness in terms of what He really wants for you. It's kind of cool that He saved children in another country like me. Start taking the first step. Pray about it, trust Jesus, but do something practically. And I know if there's a calling on your life, He will provide. And whatever He calls for, He will make sure and He walks the path before you because He's gone there before. And I truly believe that if there's a calling on your life, to reach out in the name of Jesus, that God will provide. It was a message that I've shared around the world. I've been around the world seven times. I believe it's a message that the world needs to hear, not once, not twice, but even weekly. And that message is a message of hope. If you know you got a calling on your life, don't delay it. The longer you delay it, the more reasons you will have not to pursue it. And you gotta remember, you might think you're not qualified, and guess what, you're probably right. But God's the one that can make us all qualified. Jesus will take the unqualified and make them qualified. Jesus can take a nobody and make them a somebody. But you got to be willing to step out. God bless you.